What I have here is a four quarters beef, double B flat tuba. Um, I want to dispel a quick uh, misconception about tuba, which is you have to be a big person to be able to play the tuba. Um, there are many aids that can come into play uh, for helping younger or smaller tuba players. Um, the most simple of those are tuba stands, which as the name suggests, supports the weight of the tuba uh, between the legs of the player so that the player uh, can be sized properly for the instrument. Tubas also come in a variety of sizes. Uh, many middle schools have half-sized tubas or three-quarter size tubas. Uh, they also get larger than this, all the way up to a six-quarters tuba. Um, so size um, should not be an inhibition of having a student play tuba. The same principles, though, that we've talked about with all brass instruments come into play with the tuba as well. We want to make sure that we set posture first and bring the tuba into that position. This tuba happens to be sized really well for me, so it's going to fit pretty nicely on me, but for a different person, um, there may need to be other accommodations. A tuba stand um, that either supports the weight or holds the tuba, um, a cushion, things along those lines to make it so that the tuba matches the person. So, um, but very basically, the tuba weight is supported by something vertical. In this case, it's my leg. Um, for a small player, it might be a tuba stand that's positioned down below. Uh, you'll notice that I've set my posture first, and I'm going to adjust the tuba placement so that it comes to my face. Um, if I'm a taller person, I'm going to have the tuba closer to my waist. If I'm a shorter person, I'm moving it further away so that I can lean the tuba to me. Um, I can also play with where my leg exactly positions on the uh, curvature at the bottom of the bell. Um, so if I'm a little bit smaller, I can position closer in. If I'm a little taller, it's positioned higher up. Um, the left arm is there entirely to make sure that the tuba doesn't fall over. Um, I'm not holding the weight as much as I'm making sure that stays vertical. My right hand then, just like the euphonium, is in a C. Um, that C is positioned behind the brace on the back of the tuba. Um, so as we get in here, here's my C shape in my hand. That my thumb rests underneath the brace. My fingers go on top of the valves. One, two, three, and four. With the pinky on that fourth one. Just like on the euphonium, we want to make sure that our fingers are in contact with the keys. Um, you'll oftentimes see young tuba players laying their fingers roll back, wrapping around the brace. Uh, because they have a lot of things that are open in one or open in two. Um, we want to make sure that they're, they're reminded to keep their fingers lined up so that they're ready and prepared to play. Um, I set my posture in place. Again, that left hand's there just to support the weight, and I'm ready to go. An important note with the tuba, um, you'll oftentimes see tuba players position the tuba just sitting flat on the floor. Um, while it, it can work that way, I really encourage you, um, especially for storage purposes, do not lay the tuba on its bell. That's asking for the bell to be damaged as it's set down too heavily or just gradually settles. Ideally, uh, just like the euphonium, you want to uh, position it on the, uh, the slide side, or opposite the um, slide side of your uh, valves to limit the damage or even better position it within its case. <laughs>